Sumba is an island in eastern Indonesia, is one of the Lesso Sunda Islands, and is in the province of East NUSA Tenggara. Sumba has an area of 11,153 square kilometers, and the population was 656,259 at the 2010 census. To the northwest of Sumba is Sumbawa, to the northeast, across the Sumba Strait, is Flores, to the east, across the Savu Sea, is Timor, and to the south, across part of the Indian Ocean, is Australia. History Historically, this island exported sandalwood and was known as Sandalwood Island. Before colonization by Western Europeans in the 1500s, Sumba was inhabited by Australian and Polynesian people. In 1522, through the Portuguese, the first ships from Europe arrived, and by 1866 Sumba belonged to the Dutch East Indies. Although the island did not come under real Dutch administration until the 20th century, Jesuits opened a mission in Laura, West Sumba in 1866. Despite contact with Western cultures, Sumba is one of the few places in the world in which megalithic burials are used as a living tradition to enter prominent individuals when they die. Burial in megaliths is a practice that was used in many parts of the world during the Neolithic and Bronze Ages, but has survived to this day in Sumba, and has raised significant interest from scholars. At Anakalang, for instance, quadrangular edges have been unearthed. Another long-lasting tradition is the sometimes lethal game of Paisala, in which teams of often several hundred horse riders fight with spears. On August 19, 1977, an earthquake measuring 7.0 on the Richter scale occurred which also caused a tsunami. 316 people were killed on the island and islands off the west coast. Geography, Climate and Ecology the largest town on the island is the main port of Wayangapu, with a population of about 52,755. The landscape is low, limestone hills, rather than the steep volcanoes of many Indonesian islands. There is a dry season from May to November and a rainy season from December to April. The western side of the island is more fertile and more heavily populated than the east. Due to its distinctive flora and fauna Sumba has been categorized by the World Wildlife Fund as the Sumba deciduous forest seco region. Although generally thought to be originally part of the Gondwana Southern Hemisphere supercontinent, recent research suggests that it might have detached from the Southeast Asia margin. Sumba is within the Wallacea ecozone, having a mixture of plants and animals of Asian and Australasian origin. Most of the island was originally covered in deciduous monsoon forest while the south-facing slopes, which remain moist during the dry season, were evergreen rainforest. Fauna There are a number of mammals but the island is particularly rich in bird life with nearly 200 birds, of which seven endemic species and a number of others are found only here and on some nearby islands. The endemic birds include four vulnerable species. The secretive Sumba Bubuk Owl, Sumba Button Quail, Red Naped Fruit Dove and Sumba Hornbill as well as three more common species, the Sumba Green Pigeon, Sumba Flycasher, and Apricot Breasted Sunbird. Saltwater crocodiles can still be found in some areas. The Sumba Hornbill or Dulang Sumba is under increasing threat of extinction. Indiscriminate deforestation is threatening their ability to survive. The population is estimated at less than 4,000 with an average density of 6 individuals per square kilometer. A hornbill can fly to and fro over an area of up to 100 square kilometers. Threats and preservation Most of the original forest has been cleared for the planting of maize, cassava and other crops so only small isolated patches remain. Furthermore, this clearance is ongoing due to the growing population of the island and this represents a threat to the bird life. In 1998 two national parks have been designated on the island for the protection of endangered species. The Leowang Iwang Game Thai National Park and Minubu Tanadaru National Park. Administration. Sumba is part of the East NUSA Tingara Province. 
The island and the very small islands administered along with it are split into four regencies, these are Samba Bharat, Samba Bharat Daya, Samba Tengar and Samba Timur. The island accounts for some 14.6% of the provincial population in 2010. The provincial capital is not located on the island, but in Kupang, West Timor. Culture Samba has a highly stratified society based on castes. This is especially true of East Sumba, whereas West Sumba is more ethnically and linguistically diverse. The Sumbanese people speak a variety of closely related Austronesian languages, and have a mixture of Austronesian and Melanesian ancestry. The largest language group is the Canberra language, spoken by a quarter of a million people in the eastern half of Sumba. 25 to 30 percent of the population practices the animist Marapu religion. The remainder are Christian, a majority being Dutch Calvinist, but a substantial minority being Roman Catholic. A small number of Sunni Muslims can be found along the coastal areas. Sumba is famous for the ikit textiles, particularly very detailed hand-woven ikit, which is prepared on the island. The process of dyeing and weaving ikit is labor-intensive and one piece can take months to prepare. Development and Living Standards Sumba is one of the poorer islands of Indonesia. A relatively high percentage of the population suffers from malaria, although the illness is almost totally eradicated in the west part of the island. Infant mortality is high. Access to water is one of the major challenges in Sumba. During the dry season, many streams dry up and villages must depend on wells for scarce supplies of water. Many villages on the island still have to travel several kilometers several times a day just to fetch water. It is mainly the women and children which are sent to fetch water, while the men are at work. The Sumba Foundation has been active in raising sponsorship to drill wells in villages across the island and attempting to reduce poverty on the island. As of February 2013, the Sumba Foundation were responsible for 48 wells and 191 water stations is supplying 15 schools with water and sanitation on the island, and reducing malaria rates by some 85%. Tourism Some places to visit are Poru Canberra Beach, 26 kilometers from capital city Wangapu in one hour drive, Tarambe Bay, 120 kilometers from Wangapu in five hours drive is surfer paradise with two to three meters tall waves between June and September, Watu Mandorak Cove, a white sandy beach with cliffs, two hours drive and 42 kilometers from Tambalaka in the dry season. It takes longer and is not recommended in the rainy season. The island's most popular resort is the Niawa Tour Resort, which has been ranked as one of the world's five best eco-hotels. Despite its expensive rates, the resort has always been fully booked. Maps The only tourist and road map of Sumba